Hey guys, what's going on? Emilio Vilcia here. So today, I'm going to review this Samsung Galaxy Note 3 in late 2020. So does this phone is still worth it or not? Comment down below and to get an answer. And of course, I will reply to your comment back. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the lock screen and home screen. So basically, this device is running Android 5.0 Lollipop. Come on, focus it. Alright. Sorry for the sound. This is the menu apps. My apps. With Snapdragon 800 chipset. 3GB of RAM, 32GB of storage. So... This phone is still got the S Pen. My one still have and still fully working of it, as you can see. Little bit gap, still can detect. And here's this, here's the S Pen. Little bit dirty. And the chrome is still nice, just have a small scratch as you can see. Alright. So in late 2020, does all of you is still using this S Pen function? A comment. So for me, this S Pen is really useful, even it helpful when this, for example, when this phone, the screen is not work, touch is not working. So it means if you still keep this S Pen, you can use it as per normal, without using the finger. If this fingers is not working, you can use this S Pen. This way, this S Pen still can support when, when even the front glass only is gone only the LCD display you still can use it as per normal like this so it's really helpful and, and then this Galaxy Note 3 still have a lot of function as you can see if you didn't get it you can pause it and read one by one of it this 2013 smartphone is really really good I mean the performance is still good even my sister has playing the COD here Call of Duty Mobile so for the game I will not show you now of course I'm going to show you later on on the next video of the T Mobile gameplay on Galaxy Note 3. Yeah. Alright, for Play Store. Got the latest version. With dark mode. This is the latest version of it. Still a lot of apps can be updated with latest version. Even this device is running Android 5.0 Lollipop with very old version now 91% use 2.4 gb left storage and pubg mobile legend even any minecraft or so on you can download it on this device with no any problem at all but of course the phone will be hit or hot at the back because it's too old already this year already 7 years since 2013 next let's try out the camera with 13 megapixel camera at the back with LED flash and 2 megapixel selfie camera Four point zero X maximum zoom of it. Twenty 
hello <laughs> so for the selfie there's no zoom with this beauty effect so I doesn't like this beauty mode so here's this setting also got the smart stabilization to make it not so shake shaking yeah. video size got this one very HD for this 2160p also got the video stabilization to make it stable to the megapixel the maximum size of it so I'm going to take a photo also on the video mode you can choose this this kind of thing limit for MMS slow motion fast motion as well as smooth motion smooth motion means 60 frames per second recording I record it. Yeah, very smooth. So the YouTube also got the latest vision. Also got the dark mode. Let's try to watch the video. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow. Oh, come on, Ed. I am full already. <laughs> so here's the video. The quality you can get this. One for four P. 240p, 260p, 480p, 720p, as well as 1080p. This device still can support 1080p, 60 frames per second. Android Lollipop and below will have will got this problem as you can see. When you slide the video, the video will be black color. So let's go to settings, general, about device, no more update on this device, let's check the updates, no more updates, Android Lollipop, press and hold, you can play the game. So I can show you the battery because the battery I am using the Galaxy S3 old battery to replace my broken Galaxy Note 3 battery. I have already threw it and this one is for temporary not permanent. So that's all for me. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on next video. Goodbye and have a nice day.